Oh my goodness. I did not stick these headphones in my ear and I'm going live. That's about right. That is just about right, Gina. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We are going to got this wrapped around my neck. Uh, let me, let me try to get this off of my neck, wrapped around my neck. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm on here doing my live video because I didn't know what I was going to do, but, uh, I found something to talk about. <laughs> the Aurora Borealis. Hello. Hello, you all. I'm going to go somewhere with this one right here. I'm going somewhere with this one. I didn't start off with this, but I ended with this, and we're going to see what I did start up with. A grand rising. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. We've all heard about that Aurora Borealis, and I am not an expert. <laughs> I do not study it. I don't. All I hear about is the northern lights. I'm sure a lot of you on here have uh, read about them. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, and you see the title of this is the uh, Aurora Borealis Dangerous. It's it's beautiful. The The colors are absolutely beautiful uh, in it. Uh, you couldn't see it. I couldn't see it either. I've just pulled up some images on the... Um, uh, I've just pulled up images on... That is my face. <laughs> hello, everyone. We're going somewhere with this. Um, wait, did I say my hello? I probably did, but I'm going to say it again. Hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. If I had to say it a second time, that is all right. It's all right. <laughs> I am dark again. Well, I am dark again because I am sitting in front of my laptop because I'm, I don't want to hook up my live stream yet. Uh, we're going to talk about this Aurora Borealis. Is it dangerous? Okay, there's something else I'm going to show you all. So we're just going to get right down to it. Uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get right down to this. I'm going to show you what I started off with this morning, uh, looking at, and then where I ended. Okay. So, um, right here. I started off with this. What is cluster? I don't know what cluster is, but we're going to read this. The cluster mission. Okay. What is clusters? what scientists are involved, and the science highlights. Okay, well, 250 scientists involved in 73 labs. Okay, here we can see it right here, cluster. Okay, um, what they do is they have created satellites. Who's ever seen a satellite that looks like that? Do you see that? Look at those satellites that they created. Um, circular satellites. And you can see they're not that much bigger than um, whatever. But this is what they look like. Now, do they not look like those stars in the sky? Do they not look kind of similar to the um, tether incidents, the little donut-shaped uh, UFOs at times? I just thought that was kind of interesting right there when I saw that. Because that's what I was focusing on. I was focusing on these satellites... Uh, but this is the cluster mission, and this is what they would look like uh, in space. And so um, they study the aura, the aurora. And what specifically they studied was the black aura, Borealis. Um, and here's some more images of what they studied, okay? I don't know about this. I don't. I'm just, I'm just saying it. But what I found interesting is the black aura. Uh, so, thank you for joining me, because this is very important. They created a mission, and they are specifically, um, look at this, the Aurora Kilometric Radiation, right there, okay, polar caps, okay, that's what it is, and then they've got this black aura. Hello, you all. Of course, those, you know, those lights are beautiful to light up the sky and all of that, but what, when I researched... Didn't do much research on it at all. Uh, I typed in, um, what is a black aurora borealis? I may not be able to say it right, but we're going to see it. 
whereas an ordinary aura, aura um, are associated with downward flowing electrons bombarding the atmosphere. The black ones are associated with the electrons being sucked out of the atmosphere into space. This leaves a deep cavity in the upper electrically conducting atmosphere known as the ionosphere. So these electrons are being sucked out of the atmosphere. And that's why they were studying um, the black aura right there, aurora borealis. So they have determined that they're being sucked out of the atmosphere. Something is sucking them out of the atmosphere. Um, okay, that's that's fine. So we got these beautiful colors. Uh, they they don't really speak much about them in the news. <laughs> they, they don't. Uh, but you can see them right there. They're being sucked out of the atmosphere. So then... Um, um, I have talked something, I've typed something in about dark matter and the aurora borealis, dark energy, okay, look, look at this right here, dark energy, space exploration, aurora borealis and dark energy, dark energy, um, so we know that dark energy, they are looking for the dark energy. They've got their satellites up in orbit, and they're searching for it. Uh, so this aurora borealis, now I'm not an expert at all. I'm not claiming to be. I'm just telling you this from my own perspective, uh, that that dark energy could quite possibly be sucking out the electrons in the aurora borealis, that's what I'm saying. That's what it sounds like to me. The dark matter, public lecture on dark matter. When what you are seeing is called the aurora borealis or simply an aura, auras have signified different things in different cultures. Well, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the one I just saw, the dark matter. This public lecture right there. That's what I'm talking about. That aurora borealis. And I, did, I didn't want to look at it. I was trying to look at the beautiful um, UFOs is what I was trying to look at. But then I, this, I'm just now going to these. We're doing this live. I just now clicked into this. The Mysteries of the Northern Lights. I don't, oh my gosh, they just did this. On 2020, I don't know if I want to watch it because it's probably really long. No, I'm not going to watch it because it is. Started. Thank you so much for joining us on this special. It is a YouTube video and I'm not going there. I'm not going there. You can go there and you can do it yourself. You can go there and you can watch it. Uh, it's at this web link right here. The CSE uh, University something. MIPA. College of Science and Dark Matter and the Aurora Borealis. So that's what I was looking at, you all. Uh, dark el electrons are being sucked up into the space is um, what it said <laughs> uh, with dark matter. Um, I, well, they didn't say dark matter, but that's uh, what it is, the difference. But I don't know why they were studying the dark matter. The black ones that are associated there are with electrons being sucked out from the atmosphere. So that's what brings us to this right here, this pretty picture right here. And the dark areas uh, that we see in between them, um, like this right here, being sucked up out of the atmosphere, um, the electrons. That's kind of scary, you all, because it's kind of sci-fi-like. Uh, good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. And this is this really needs to be thought about because they created what is cluster. They created cluster. Uh, it's a mission. Scientists involved, the highlights, uh, scientists from 73 countries. Um, this is the satellites they created, which are circular, just like this. Circular. You should look like a tiny little UFOs is what they look like to me. <laughs> they really do. Uh, but they had, uh, they want to study, um, is what they want to study, the auras. 
and this radiation and this black aura uh, is what they're studying. But I thought that was really um, interesting. Um, and I would encourage you um, to go do your own research. Check that out. Um, because I just stumbled upon it this morning because I always, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I thought I got to do a video. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it really has something to do <laughs> with dark matter uh, sucking up the uh, energy, the electrons out of it because it's leaving deep cavities. Uh, you've seen the movies where the dark matter or even NASA, the dark matter literally that they're looking for in space, it's like a it's like a big black hole and it's sucking things into it. Okay, it's sucking things into it. That's what a black hole does. It like um and they're studying the black aura. Right there. The black aura. So um interesting effects, flickering black aura. So um, that's all I want to say about it, you all. Um, I'm sure there's a, there are some experts on here who have made this their primary area of study, the Aurora Borealis. Um, and I'm sure you all have a lot more information than me. Um, and you can put your, you can put your uh, information in these comments because it's always interesting to read uh, when we compile our thoughts and our knowledge together. And please do it in a very kind way. Don't be derogatory toward one another because that's not nice. It isn't nice. Uh, but we've got to try to figure this out, you know. What's going on? Why is that? Because, you know, yeah, it's all pretty and stuff like that. It really is. It's kind of pretty. It's pretty to look at. Oh, the dazzling lights in the sky. They're so beautiful to look at. They really are. Um, yeah, but... Um, that's let me let me let me put this face down. I'm gonna type in black uh, a black hole really fast. So you all just hold on right there. You're you're in the dark right now. That's what a black hole will do. It'll suck you into the dark. <laughs> oh, that's what it will do. Yeah. Uh, so we wait right there. Okay, I'm I'm back, you all. Whoa! I'm gonna I'm gonna be twirling. I'm twirling this around in a circle. Uh, can energy be sucked out of a black hole? Uh, Forbes says they don't suck everything into them, um, but then looked at this. Why do black holes suck? Black holes caught supermassive black holes caught sucking energy. Let's look at that because that's important to look at. It is uh, because the aurora borealis is having its electrons sucked out of it <laughs> and causing the black, the black. Um, auras the black lines in the auras um and now it's talking about einstein and stuff um you know they, they just they they put too much information in they just need to get to the point because i can't i can't read this i cannot read it uh there's just too much of it but they're going they're monitoring encounters and stuff okay so black energy can black black holes can suck energy do they have energy? They have something in them. They have like a big emptiness. It's like, okay, it's like being around, this is like, it's being around somebody, an energy, a vampire, energy vampires. They suck your energy right out of them because they got this black energy within them and they just suck it right out of you. Now we got something on a big massive scale. <laughs> oh my gosh, because you can see this. It, 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 it sucks energy out. So, um, Black hole sucks a star like it's spaghetti. Capture image of black hole emitted. So um, they are star eaters. So they are star eaters is what this black holes are. And, you know, um, this don't look good. It really doesn't look good. This might be pretty, but it doesn't sound good to me. I'm just going to tell you it doesn't sound good. These pretty images right here. And then they... Um, they created this experiment right here, cluster, to study the black auras uh, right here. And this is what their satellites look like that they put up in orbit. They look kind of like a little bitty UFOs. They really do. Uh, and this is the studies they're doing. But that's what they mainly was studying right there. Uh, if you're just tuning in, and I'm just about to wrap this up uh, since I am not an expert it, but um, we're going to read the definition 
Ordinary auras are associated with downward flowing electrons bombarding the atmosphere, but the black ones are associated with electrons being sucked out of the atmosphere into space. And this leaves deep cavities in the upper electrically conducting atmosphere known as the ionosphere. So there you have it. Um, there was an experiment. They wanted to study the aurora borealis, um, and that is what they found out. And they found out, I guess, what they needed to know. Um, yeah, so um, we can, we can, I really think it's so neat. It's, look at this, it's so neat. So there's, their satellites look like UFOs, circular UFOs is what their satellites look like. Um, isn't that interesting? Just like that. Um, yeah, they are sucking energy to survive. They very well could be. See, um... And there are people in here. Put your comments. See, it's good to comment like this uh, from different points of views. Just keep it, keep it um, cordial, uh, is what I've got to say. Um, yeah, CERN. Yeah, they can create a big black hole and they can suck the energy out too. Uh, I'm almost certain. Um, the world will see on the video. Uh, yeah. Um, so if you're all just tuning in, there's dark. Uh, it's like the there's black aurora borealis. Um, where the electrons are being sucked out. Um, that's why there's dark areas in it. And dark matter sucks out energy. <laughs> yeah. Um, when am I going to dance again? I guess I'd have to be in the mood to dance, but I'm not in a dancing mood right now. <laughs> I am not. Uh, yeah. But you can just go back and look at the other videos. Radiating energy. Um, yeah, so you can, you can do your own research, type in cluster, and they, they wanted to study that. That's ex exactly what they were studying, this right here, and this uh, black aura, G mark kind. Uh, and with that being said, I am going to go. Uh, I thank you all for tuning in. I really do. This is all interesting, and I... And I wasn't going to do this. I just stumbled upon it because I was looking. Uh, I don't even know what I was looking at <laughs> when I stumbled upon it. But that's okay. I just go with the flow. I really do. I get I'm led by the spirit within. So um, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Yes, please give this video a thumbs up because there's something going on. There's something much more going on with that Aurora Borealis, you all. You all are so very welcome. Uh, thank you once again. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and you will see me on here again uh, as long as something doesn't happen. I'll be back. Thank you.